Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, my loves. It's the start of a brand new meals vlog Tuesday, as always. And this, well, it's kind of sorta bibimbap, kind of sorta. Kind of sorta. Uh, but no gochujang. See, I mean, it's a mixed rice, but it's not a Korean mixed rice. Uh, I've just done some um, brown rice and. Uh, you know the, the Aldi beef teriyaki style strips, pack of them in there, uh, some peas, sweet corn, edamame, green beans, onion, courgette from the plot and we're going to have a lovely paratha of course. Um, now I've boiled the rice with one of the oxo beef style cubes because it was beef teriyaki style pieces. Um, so Mr. Mr. Busties <laughs> Mr. Busties Would you like a little taste? Bless him Came on from work Straight down to allotment Editing a vlog straight away When we got back This busy. is us just relaxing now Busy 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 indeed mm. Oh yeah yeah? Oh yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's just like a nice, simple, mixed rice dish with lots of vegetables in there. Yeah. And lots of flavour, hopefully. Ah, really flavoursome. Oh, and I put some of that Bonsan chilli sauce in as well. Just a little bit. Only a smirch. Hmm. It's, it's barely there, to be honest. The rice is really flavoursome. Good. Uh, so I think that's the uh, presumably the option. Well, yeah, whenever you uh, boil um, rice with stock cubes, it can pass all the flavour in there, so wonderful. So there you go, first night of a new meals vlog. It's a kind of sort of bibimbap, but it's not. Bye, loves. Oh, hello, my loves. It's uh, Wednesday evening. It's a very random dinner this evening, actually. The lovely stewards is here. Hello. <laughs> and we're having I just said to Jason grab some snack stuff from Sainsbury's on your way home because in about 30 minutes we've got to leave here and head to Liverpool for the bumhole monologues in which Stuart and I are performing so here is dinner tonight we've got um, a squeaky bean pastrami on sandwich with mustard hippies tortilla chips um, Sainsbury's own and a fries sausage roll and some Sainsbury's lemon and coriander hummus and that's about it and now we're stuffing down his faces and off to perform bye loves hello my loves it's Thursday evening the delightful Stuart left here about 4pm and then my lovely husband arrived home at about 6 o'clock and he's done now for weekend yay oh yes um, and we went down to the allotment to water and called at Tesco's after 7pm in Tesco's by the way is yellow sticker heaven uh, got a load of stuff for 8 quid and whacked a load in the freezer but this is two of those squeaky bean coronation uh, chicken style tarts that we had last week and they were 75p again so I thought you know what why not a lovely big bowl of mixed salad just dressed with a little bit of garlic oil some mayo some salt and everything but the bagel seasoning yeah. and a slice of bread and there you go that's what we're having for our dinner this evening salad is about to get shitted you know all about that and uh, we will see you again over weekend bye loves well hello my loves it's friday night for the lovely day at the allotment well, we're both knackered, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> we've had a lovely session. Yeah, yeah, at the allotment. a very busy time at the allotment. Yes, we're going through quite a lot of changes down there at the moment, as you'll see in the next allotment vlog. But it's not this. That's that's not <sighs> what this is. This is about food. Although there is a link. Yes, there is a link. However, I just wanted to show you we're having these again. Do you remember I got them recently for 19p on last week's meals vlog? They were in the freezer for a, like a few weeks and then we had them. We decided they were lovely. But this packet only had five in, not six. So we've had two and a half each. A uh, tin of mushy peas, some oven chips and the fresh green peas you see in there are from the allotment along with some pink beans that we got. Uh, from there as well but they've, they're have they not pink anymore now they've cooked uh, so there you go we're having uh, a fish chips oh and I've had to do something different with that 
I didn't have a lot of mayo, so I've made it with um, mayo, Greek yogurt, and lemon juice, ah. and gherkins and uh, caper berries. So I've tasted it; it's gorgeous. Um, so there you go, a vegan fish, chips, and peas. Don't you know? Bye, loves. Well, hello, my loves. It's Saturday night. We've had a lovely afternoon out in uh, Rochdale with uh, Miss Stuart Crowther from the Library is Open. Um, to Rochdale's first vegan market. Small, but perfectly formed. Um, and tonight, we're just getting ready for our mukbang. We're having vegan sushi from Asda. Uh, pickled ginger, wasabi. Um, what's that called, Jason? It's something sal wakamami salad. Wakamami seaweed salad or something. Rainbow vegan rolls. Crispy veggie rolls. Goma wakame. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a seaweed salad. Yeah. yeah, so these are all the plant based stuff. Uh, I've done a dipping sauce, we've got some itsu gyoza, some uh, McCain fries, some edamame, and in the stir fryer over there, not quite done yet, are our duck style spring rolls. Um, hope you're joining us. If not, this is what we had on Saturday night. Yay! Hello, my loves. It's uh, Sunday evening. It is. Oh, bit, bit of a boo. You're a back. bit of a boo. Because Jay's back at work tomorrow. Yeah. Have yeah. you? Have. <laughs> You've just finished ed editing the uh, allotment vlog. Uh, these are those um, uh, vegan savoury pies, Tesco's own brand. Uh, I got them for 33 peach yellow stickered a couple of weeks ago. They were back at freezer. Um, so we're having them tonight with... Uh, would you care to share the salad, Jason? Mm -hmm. Plum Jason's perfect sand chitters. Uh, a lovely mixed salad. I've put the last of the wakami salad from the mukbang last night in there. Just oh, cho yeah. Chopped it in. Nice. Spinach, leaves, uh, cherry tomatoes, red onions, and some everything but the bagel um, mix sprinkled in there as well. I like Wolverine claws. And there you, there you go, you see, it's our lovely uh, pie and salad. Let's, let's make the plate look more. There. There you see. That's better. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're having for our dinner tonight. No airs and graces on this channel kids. When we're having something from freezer that's pre-packed uh, we'll let your buddy know. <laughs> and that's what we're having tonight. Um, so I'm, I shall get my salad on my plate and stuff this in my face. And he will. Bye loves. Hello my loves, it's uh, Monday evening, the last night of the meals vlog and we're having the second one of these um, kits sent to us by Tiger Tiger. Now I have to own up to a mistake here. On the instructions it, tell you, it says quite clearly there, refreshed for best results, refreshed the noodles for a minute in the microwave before putting, putting them in the pan. I didn't do that last time. I've done it this time and they're so much better. Okay. okay. So this is the Thai red curry noodle kit. You get the noodles, the sauce, and the sprinkles for the top, which I just kind of put into the pan at the last minute. And you add your own veg and protein. So in this one, we've got uh, courgette and um, French bean from the allotment. We've got Linda McCartney's shredded pork style pieces nice. and um, what else did I put in there something oh edamame oh of course yes. of course uh, so it looks really good would you, would you like to have a taste you I was trying to show off my chopstick skills by by getting just a piece of edamame he just said to me a minute ago why have you got chopsticks and I haven't I was like because you can't use them I have to practice <laughs> um, I I should also point out that Tiger Tiger's tagline is Unleash the Taste. I noticed it after our last one. Mm -hmm. So very nice of them to send us these two packs. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and get some. <laughs> oh, I'll put some peanuts in as well. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes. The noodles are much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit more spice to it. I did it wrong last time. I've put a little bit of black garlic. 
but it's also a little bit more spiced, I think, than the other one as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's really nice. Uh, so there you go. Uh, we Yes, we do recommend these uh, meal kits, should you fancy. Mm. Um, uh, you'll have to check out on Tiger Tiger where they're available. Oh, I think they're available in most supermarkets now, actually. Uh, so if you fancy something quick, whack it in the pan, shove it in your gob. There you go. Tiger Tiger Thai Red Curry Noodle Kit makes this. Along with our allotment growth, of course. Bye, loves! <laughs> <laughs>